If you ran across a rock like this one, would you think it was anything special? Well, turns out a lot of people in Arizona overlooked it too. Let's talk about it and learn the story of the Gold Basin Meteorite. The Mojave County area of Arizona is very popular amongst gold prospectors looking to strike it rich. And as legend tells us, a lot of them would go through this area with their metal detectors uh, looking for evidence of gold and run across some strange stones that appeared to be magnetic but weren't of particular interest to them. Now, this isn't entirely odd. There are a lot of magnetic stones on Earth that are not meteorites, and certainly a lot of these prospectors may have suspected they had found a meteorite, but really had no ability or way to prove that that's what it was, and they had uh, other things on their mind. Now, this all changed when Jim Creed came on the scene. He was prospecting for gold, and he just happened to be a retired professor of geology. He ran across a couple stones, thought they might have characteristics of meteorites, so he took them to the University of Arizona for analysis. They did end up finding that those stones were meteorites, and he actually ended up working with the university to map out thousands of other stones from this fall within the strewn field very carefully. So we have a lot of interesting scientific research that comes from his discovery. Now, as far as the meteorite itself, it is an ordinary chondrite, which is the most common type of meteorite that falls to Earth. It's about 4.5 billion years old, and it's classified as an L4, meaning that it has a low metal content. You can actually see some of the metal flecks here as the light catches them, and this stone spins around. Now, this is a sample from my collection. It's a 152 gram end cut. Uh, it's certainly one I wanted for my collection just because it is such a neat story that so many people passed over it uh, before realizing what it was in this case. So there's quite a few uh, samples of this out in circulation with over 60 kilograms of it having been discovered. Uh, I love sharing the story of this one with folks and I just think it's a neat example of the mystery that's kind of all around us and where we might find things in unexpected places. By the way, if you like stories like this and learning about space rocks and seeing cool imagery of meteorites, make sure to like and subscribe. I've got a lot more coming.